Hi, my name is Damon Dog. I'm here with Bonseni and this is Derek. We're going to talk about how drugs do in our social life and living in our bodies. Uh, so Bonsen, what do you know about drugs? Well, I know that drugs, you know, the effect, the effect of drugs, you know, they too high, you know. People who use drugs in this world, you know, they are lost. Um, I know drugs. A very, very bad to body, but drugs are not just that bad to body. Drugs damage your body. It damages your brain cells. It makes you. I know drugs make you high, yes. You feel nice when you high because, you know, you, you, you do everything to me, but I've seen a lot of people who smoke drugs, and I've seen a lot of people die because of drugs. So, what do you think you could do to help those people who are addicted to drugs to just be there? I'll make sure that I encourage people. You know, give them a good reason why they shouldn't smoke drugs and bring them into a better life. Afternoon, learners. This is Masana Muchanzi from Oakland Technical University. I'm here to do an interview about gambling in our city. Why are you like playing cards in the new school hours? It's happening in the mud. Yeah, so you are discussed. No, 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 so do you think you're gonna make it Now we hear the principal office. We're gonna go in there and ask some questions about the girls who are gambling around this Let's go in and check. Do you think it's the right issue for them to be gambling around the school during the school time? Not even during the school time. Gambling is not allowed in school at all because it's got consequences. Yeah. Gambling, it causes fights. Learners can kill themselves because we know wherever the money is involved, there should be death. Yeah. Hello, I'm Jael Kamwanya from Edson Girls High School, and today I'll be interviewing Benaya about our school uniform. So, um, what do you think about our school uniform for this year? I think that it is very, um, not in a mean way, but I really dislike our school uniform. I don't think that the ties have a reason to be put there. And I think that otherwise than that, the color is just despicable. What about the sport kit? I think, no, um, the sport kit is very, it's very nice. I really like it, especially the top. Maybe if the shorts were like actually shorts, because they're not, then it would be better, but it is, the, I don't have a problem with it. I wouldn't mind wearing it in, like, proudly and saying that I go to African Girls High School. So, like, tell me what you think about our school. So, first thing I need to say, like, I think our school uniforms are unique. And plus, they actually complement our body form. You know? If you look at the ties, they it represents each and every person. Like, if you're a RCL, then you've got your own tie. If you're a prefect, you've got your own tie. If you're a president, you've got your own, own tie. So it actually, in a way, motivates you. So overall, our, un our uniforms are actually superb.
my name is Kevin Tarke and you guys are more than welcome to call me here. Today we are here in Vincent High School and we will be tackling the issue of teenage pregnancy and how it is affecting students and more especially and our students here in Vincent High School. So you're a mother now and how do you feel that has affected it has or is still affecting your parents and how do you feel being a mother at such a young age? Well, my parents don't have a problem with it. I mean like they were happy okay of like some of my family members like were shocked that I was pregnant at a young age. But like everything was cool. Everything is like back to normal. I have someone to take care of my baby while I'm in school. So So how do you feel being pregnant? Hmm, being pregnant. Well, I I feel depressed most of the time. I'm six months pregnant now and I'm just a kid and I'm not even sure I want this baby. You can use it. I'm sorry, so good. I'm going to use it. 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 I'm going to in e reason Indane ya ikitule nabantu ifuna ukuthi ucala amafomu Ya kolo kena kwefetu ikhole hayi ngwaba ingane My name is Bali Matamola. I'm from ITC. I'm 18 years old and I'll, today I'll be talking about how we be resolving one of our biggest issues in our school, which is bullying. Thomas, tell me, how do you feel when, you, when you've been bullied? I feel like I could kill someone, you know. Because this guy is always irritating me in the school. He takes my money, everything. Now I don't have anything. But what is the solution to being bullied? I don't think that is a solution, but you have to work with the t-shirt. Yeah. how do you feel about bullying around the school? Mm, I think, uh, I think, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think, 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 uh, Okay. Every child is traumatized. Every child is to leave home going to school. The first thing that comes to their mind are those things. So it makes child hate school. Even the child as it grows, it grows with the trauma. And these things they affect them even when they are old. Hello, my name is Moses Emel Masera, and you're from Technical Lang Lase High School. Nam Sanjeng is a common experience, and it's been helping for us. We've been losing our classmates, our friends, and our loved ones. 
So, Namsa and Jenny Zobuza, and Nizo Haman Buza went to Nimsun and Abulas. How do you feel about the train session? Gunning London and Nizo Guanin. First of all, what Abanga and Alpha you went to there, what when what women Abanga and Batagi and get so? Like, like, and I'm having you've lost the train, and who's the umbo ne Alelela Payana? How did you feel? Well, last year, at the end of the year, we lost the train as a classmate. And they had an end of a day, and it was very sad while knowing that with Umuntu Besima, Umuntu Besaza, like Besenza is the thing now, the following days to Utu, such as Utu Shire, especially with the Simone, which never has to be at all. So it wasn't really good. So, when, what message do you want to give to other students? Because this year we have a new grade eight, and you don't want those graders doing the train surfing. What do you want to give to them to prevent the train surfing? And not only our grade eight, but also the other grade eight from other schools. I would like to tell them a good thing. Friends as young people, by us here pleasure, but like, they sometimes you should appreciate everything that they have. You have a bright future ahead of you. I am a from Elisha, the second line, right here in Orange Farm. Now, I will be getting the views of Elisha, Longfundi, about the challenge, the uh, emotional change of school furniture, namely, Itura and Matapula Konala. So, let's get it. So, you know, as a you know, uh, uh, it's, very, it's a very, very sensitive message because it's not only about the folks getting partner for Yabo Tishi, it's also partly in the folks here. As a bunch of because we are the ones who play the French. You, you know that you cannot study without the uh, proper equipment, whether it be chairs or desks, so it definitely does affect you. But I'm just going to give a mouth view on Bernard Mustandi there. So, so Smart Tibalana, you have a young teacher, or in charge uh, of the furniture, like the shelter. So, so that you know what you think, I don't know. I see. After buying the furniture, should the learner break your chair or a table? The parent must be responsible to see so that you can replace the broken chair or the broken table. Because if only the school is the one that to keep on buying the things, you find that learners are not taking any responsibility for their actions. Especially in the they break them on the table. There's a high rate where the shortage of furniture at school and like we need to work together as about food, students and about how to best follow the students are in the I'm a learner from the Civil Secondary School in Davidson. I'm a great top learner and I'm going to be doing a story about the types of tests that are allowed in the school. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to talk to Mrs. Tontapo, one of the lawmakers in the school or the policy makers in the school. And she's going to explain to us why it is that learners aren't allowed to do any type of test all that they want. Let's go and see her. First of all, the school is a, is a formal institution of learning. And we think uh, learners should learn uh, ways of handling themselves in terms of how they look. We must have as a school a control over how they look. For instance, as a school in our code of conduct, conduct there are certain hairstyles that we think are not, uh, are not uh, good for, for learners, such as big, uh, long hair pieces with color, Go manje yes or kulumano asanda o mfundi la pes kolo ni sasa lisiba secondary si zombos guti gu ngani eti eta banga yena ilenda eta banga ngenda beinuel asis gutu tin. Ante kama la mwa asanda njoo mwa bila sira chilo. Emi na mwa na wola iti uliti awa mimi ba chelo guti mele enta wobi chini zini because of bugera sili tindi mwa ba umemi kato sira chilo ende bia bugera du uliti kona umdo ana kona umdo mtala. I am a student at this college of the Academy. I have been to participate in the school competition drama festival called the Anderson Festival of the Academy. And we happen to be from one of the same families who are part of the past year. We have been selected in terms of drama. 
he happened to get nominations as also, and I had to be one of the people who were nominated. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the company, but we were a part of the campaign, and this was also a great and the most exciting experience ever. I am a member of the drama group. We last year we attended the the festival and we came on number five. The feeling was just unacceptable. My name is Paul Kiyoma, and today I'm talking about a serious issue that happens within women, complexion. Is it true that lighter skinned women are much more beautiful, or dark skinned women are just taken for granted? Today I have my eyes, who is a dark skinned woman who embraces it and loves it. She also rocks an afro, which really looks really sexy. So today I want to ask her about what does she think about complexion? Uh, I think black women are really sexy, okay? Black, uh, black women are discriminated sometimes, especially in Africa, especially in airspace. Mm -hmm. Black girls are taken for granted. Do you think that they're needed? Do you think that women reach because they want to look more beautiful, they want to look like Beyonce and things like this? So that's what they think. It's a nowadays. And now women say, okay, if I look like Beyonce, people will respect me more. If I look like Beyonce, people will like me more. But that ain't true. What do you think we can do to change the whole perception of? Women believing that life again is the only way to be beautiful. Media. Media is the best way of doing it. We can find media improving and motivating kids by using their own name. Hello to everyone. My name is Charity Boloy and I am here to talk about the school of a chapter, which is security. I am here with a beautiful beauty medicine. And I'm here to ask her a few questions. Please tell how are you? So, what do you think about the school organization structure? I think the school organization structure is a very quality material because everything here at our school is safe and secure. So, what do you think about the security management? I think it's perfect because no one gets hurt at our school and our objects are very safe for our young children at our school. How do you, how do you feel about the people taking care of our school? I think they're doing an excellent job because we always say and no one can get out of our school. People, I am here with Mr. Honda and I'm going to ask you a few questions. So, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, you feel safe in the school premises? Yes, I really do feel safe in the school premises because they put their lives for us and they also make sure that we are safe in the school from King Park. Um, uh, what I wanted to find out is why is popularity so desired in high school among us teenagers. So um, I got a popular person in grade 10. Her name's Malak Shiave. I want to ask a few questions from her to find out what she thinks of popularity. Is it important to you to have so many people around you? Is it important for you to be popular? To me, it's not that important to have that variety of friends. It's just that most of them I grew up with, or they I know them because of my brothers or sisters, or because of other friends. And I just like to be friendly and to have like a variety of people in my life. By achieving a sense of importance, yes, by having tons of people around you, does it help with your self-esteem? So what are you saying? You have a low self-esteem. I do have a low self-esteem, but having a lot of friends around you, it helps. You. So it strikes me affects our economy and the entire country. The reason is that teachers and workers cannot go to work because of strike and some learners live out of school, which end up failing, which is not a good thing for our country and the economy. So we need to stop striking to build a better future for South Africa. Um, the fact that Copeland lost in my day really affected me individually because I'm just found a lot of work in school. And it's a bad thing for me because one day this is a whole lot of years. And that day missed for me, a learner won't be able to explain the way an educator does it. So every day now I'm going to be able to tell you how it's trying to fix it. That's just the thing that teachers will be coming in and how to do that to be able to do it.
Hi, I'm Daniel Satoya. I'm here. I'm here to tell you how sport makes a difference in the lives of people at school. And here I have Fumani Simani, here a person who plays sport professionally, who hopes to be one, who, who hopes to be to play for one fun and fun one day. Fumani, when did you start playing soccer? Well, I was born with a ball in my hand. I was I started playing soccer at the age of three or two, I think. And ever since then, it's been my passion to be a footballer. So why do you play soccer this way? Well, like I said, I was born with a ball at my feet, so yeah, and it's a good thing to play, you know, it's exercise, it's fun, and you just get your mind off things instead of taking uh, drugs and all that. Uh, right here I have Koposo, a uh, person who loves sports, who's been a fan all his life. So tell me, Koposo, when did you start, when did you start watching sports? Well, um, if I'm not incorrect, I think when I was six, when I started to walk. Yeah, walking and talking. I started to love sports, watching rugby, tennis, all this kind of sports. So what's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is, um, I like soccer a lot, but tennis is much better than rugby. I would like to, I'll, I'll, I'll say that sport has become a very important thing in the lives of young people. Okay, hi. I'm um, Lily, by the way. I'm going to talk about the problems we've been having like my son when we're going to have a problem with my legs. Some of them are untied. And in this case, I'm going to be unhealthy place. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. And I'm going to be in the middle of the world. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. I'm going to be in the middle of the world. So, we would be not in any surrender and I mean, I'm a kind of a colleague. I'm 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 a so my name is and I'm from and I'm from Um, my topic is about me pregnancy. What are you Uh, I think it's bad. Why? Because, first of all, we have two children. So why should you be pregnant in school? It will give a, a wrong impression towards your parents. Because it, it looks yeah, like your parents is looking at your future. So you ruin your future when you are pregnant in high school. Okay, my second question is, do you think it's fair for a girl to get pregnant and staying at home while the partner is at school? In Tombazana, like, I said, you know, and she, a car, you can't get in there. I'm fine, and I'll be here for you. Why, like, now, in Tombazana, and I'm for you, and you go out with a chiva, it's a fella. And our topic today is about violation of free property. Today you're gonna find more people to find out more what do they what do they think about free society. About free society. Free society. Free society. Free society. Some people walk by like in town, they're not going to be When coming to class, we have to sit two things in one chair, so there's no enough safety. Some things to approach and we have to do no matter things. After all, I think it's the best thing to do. How do they do violation of school property in school? How? How? So most of the time, we have to say, we have to say, by using a dictionary, I may say, we have to say, and other things we use around the school. And when to get it? 
well, I don't know, because most of the time, I look more like a and you never see people doing that, because I have to do that.